play console style games on your iPad. I'm Justin Spiegel and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn your iPad into a legit gaming console. So let's get started. So I primarily use my iPad for DJing. My YouTube channel is all about DJing with the iPad. If you're into that, subscribe to the channel. But and I tell all of all of my subscribers in the videos that when you're doing DJ gigs, especially now in 2022, 2023, that you should add a video element to your DJing. So by using uh, one of these adapters, we could get high quality HDMI connection into a TV or into a projector. So uh, through this trick that I use for DJing and to get visualizers and to get uh, music videos onto a TV while I'm DJing, it's the same concept to play high quality console level video games on your iPad. So there's a couple of ways to do this, a couple of ways that work great, and a couple of that don't that I had to figure out through trial and error. So let's get right into it. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to connect your iPad into a bigger screen. It's not really fun. It's not really fun to DJ just, just on the iPad. And then although there are a lot of the games have very intuitive controls for the touchscreen, you still don't get that console level feel. So this is this is GTA, and I'm using the touchscreen. And although it's fun, it's kind of hard to do, and it doesn't feel like actually playing the the game as you remember it playing with the controller. So what I would recommend is using one of these. So I'll post some links down below on high quality ones, but there's a couple of things to look for. So this is uh, USB-C. This method works with USB-C iPads. So you're gonna plug this USB-C into the iPad, and then you're gonna plug your HDMI into here. And then a very important part is when you pick out these adapters, make sure you get one that could charge the iPad. Just like if you're DJing and your iPad dies, it, it if you're playing games and your iPad dies, you know, party over and all the fun's gone. So make sure that the device will be able to charge your iPad. It's really important. And make sure it, it has high quality charging so that it's going to be charging more than the game is draining the battery so this way your ipad will never die if it's charging a little bit but you're using more power than it's charging uh, it might last longer but eventually it will die so there is also another thing you could do which is screen mirroring you can screen mirror your ipad onto a newer style tv and then instantly have everything on your ipad onto the tv so once I, I got a brand new TV that we're gonna be hanging out outside by the pool, but I have it in my office now, and I sat down and I did the screen mirroring and I was gonna play some GTA, but the there was some latency. The quality wasn't as good and I couldn't play the game because what I, my reaction times when, when you press the controller wasn't lining up with, with what was actually happening on the screen. There was a slight delay and you were not able to enjoy playing games that way. If you wanna watch Netflix real quick, if you wanna watch a movie, maybe watch a YouTube video, then that'll work fine doing the screen mirroring, but I can't stress it enough that if you wanna play an action-packed video game on your TV with your iPad, please use the HDMI USB-C connection. Then it's gonna be the same quality, this no latency at all, the same quality as if you were just playing on your iPad screen, and everything will be mirrored on a big TV. All right, so we got our iPad connected to our TV. Now what's next? It's not gonna be fun having the, having the screen on the TV and then having to use the touch screen on the iPad to control the game because it's just gonna be weird. You're gonna be holding a screen and watching a screen and it's not really gonna be that fun. So what I would recommend is getting one of these. This is just an Xbox controller. The, on the box, it says it works with iOS. Now, there are other controllers. I threw this one on the floor. Let me grab it. This one is the SteelSeries Nimbus. This controller works very good, except one of my buttons fell off. So 
I don't use that one anymore. And I found that this Xbox one, it the battery lasts forever. It uses it uses regular batteries, so if you're playing and the controller dies, you could just quickly grab another pair of batteries. And I found it to be cheaper. The other ones, the the Steel Series Nimbus and the other iOS controllers. Uh, they were like $60, $59, and I was able to find one of these at Walmart for cheaper. So it is the most affordable and the highest quality controller that you could get for the iPad. So now, how do you know if the game that you want to play is going to be compatible with the controller? So I found this really cool app, and it is called Controller. So it, it looks like it looks like this it's called controller and then if you search into the controller if you search on the app store it's going to be game controller apps right there and then i also recommend getting one of these testers so it's the game controller app so now if you have a game on your iPad and you want to know that if it will work on the t on the TV, if it would work for doing this method, then you just go over here to all games, type it in. Let's say, for example, I want to play GTA. Type it in. Boom. And it lets you know. So GTA. Let's just see. Grand. See, Grand Theft Auto. So you got Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So all of these games will work with the controller. And you will be able to play the game exactly like you played it on PS2 or PS3 or whatever it was. And you really won't be able to notice any any difference. And it's the full full quality, the full-size full size version of the game, just like if you were playing it in the disc in an old-school controller. Now, they don't have, like, the brand new games. They don't have the newer style games, like the new Call of Duties or the or Grand Theft Auto V, or they don't even have four. But if you like playing classic PS2 quality games, like Grand Theft Auto, they also have Bully, which is the full quality game of Bully. And I, I never played that game on the console, so I've been playing it through on my iPad, and it's really, really fun. And then they also have some really, really great racing games like asphalt 9 asphalt 8 these are really high quality racing games that'll feel just like a console so there you go you know how to connect it to your tv you know how to test if you could play it with the controller and you have some of uh, the ideas of what some really fun games to play are so let me know in the comments that if you use this method to play games on your ipad also, subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more cool stuff you could do with the iPad and if you want to get into DJing with the iPad. And give this video a like if you found some value.